Hey everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and we are going to talk about a tool called the Wiggler. The Wiggler basically randomizes values for you and it's it's a quick way so you don't have to keyframe everything and it looks pretty random. So in window you want to go down to here and go to Wiggler and here we have the Wiggler uh, box here so it's the same as oh let me cl click on position so we can uh, animate the position have your keyframe selected and for spatial path here this is for position and anything that moves on the X or Y axis or the Z you can move or you can apply spatial path to it so moving around in space basically the other one here is temporal and that's time pretty much so something like opacity will be used with temporal and I'll show you that after I show you the position so you got the noise type here and this option doesn't really matter all that much smooth gives you uh, nicer uh, bezier handles in your graph editor and jagged gives you broken uh, handles in your graph editor so pretty much your preference there dimensions here we have all independently which means it's going to move on the x and y axis you can have all the same or just move it on the x or y frequency is how many uh, times it's going to randomize your value magnitude is how how like um, what's a good word I guess how severe you can you your uh, posi your values will move like how far away from the original value that it will move is a better term so I have the position click on position and I'll click on apply because I made just a basic motion path going across apply and you can see it added keyframes and I'll give you a little preview here and it pretty much did nothing and the reason why is because I did not increase the magnitude high enough so let's go to 10 and we'll we will delete no what's uh, control Z to go back now I'll apply it and you can see now it has wiggled there you go. It wiggles a little bit. I'll make it even more severe. 100. So basically, it's randomizing the position for you. And it's not only limited to position, you can use the this on effects and uh, other things like opacity so the easiest w one for me to show you right now is opacity so I'll put him in the middle I'll scale him up so you guys can see a little better and I'll set the opacity to well do it at 75 percent I'll keyframe it let's make another one and add another keyframe and make sure I have those selected it automatically selected temporal graph because you have opacity um, the frequency is I'm just gonna keep that at 5 per second and my magnitude I'll do it at 25 I'll apply and let's check it out you can see that he's flickering and going uh, to different values there so you, if I scroll scrub in the timeline and you look at the opacity you can see the different uh, values there being changed so it does it does add keyframes and it does change your uh, values in your uh, properties over here if you would like to fine-tune this even more you can go into your graph editor and see how I use, since we use smooth it's going to have the the handles and the smooth bezier handles and now you can 
pretty much move any of these that you want to make different to make it to tweak it pretty much so I'll make a wiggle with without the smooth neck this time um, control Z okay there we go and now it's not wiggled and I'll change the noise type to jagged and we'll just apply and now if I check out the graph editor here you can see it's more of like a jaggedy let's play it you can it doesn't really have a much of an effect when you play it it's just basically for the graph editor so it's pretty much your preference now that's probably yeah that's about it for the the wiggler it's a really useful tool and I use it for things like flickering lights for if you're gonna take your video footage and turn it into like an earthquake scene or if something hits something really hard and you need to wiggle it when it hits it so it bounces away or whatever just those are just a few examples so just uh, keep in mind the wiggler when when you're working on your animation and it's a good way to just add random values. Thanks for watching the tutorial and I'll catch you on the next one.